morning guys. So you guys know that we've been having quite the adventure with training our milk cow. I've been doing it for months and I've had a lot of help from my friends in order to get to the process of where we're at right now. So now we're in milk and we have this cow who's giving us all this milk. I just wanted to share the process of how we got to this point. Just our story because it's been taking a lot of work. It's been an adventure. When I first started training Patty, you saw in our last video, in our last cow video, um, you saw that I would kept training her up to the stand and training her up to the stand. And I think that was crucial for the next part to get her into the stand and to actually milk her. When she had cookies and cream, um, probably about two days later, I called my friends over and I said, when do I start milking? And they're like, oh, right now. And so one of my friends came over and she showed me what she did. I've heard from different cow owners that if you're milking and the cow kicks you, because that was like one of the main concerns that I had was the cow kicking me when I milked her. And I've heard that if you just kick her back, um, that that should take care of the trick and she won't kick and she'll be like, oh, I'm not gonna kick anymore. But I didn't really feel the need to do that. I didn't, I wanted to find a different way. So my friend who has her animal psychology degree came to the rescue again in terms of cows and she came over and taught me a better way. Um, so you'll see, I'm not gonna punch the cow out and I'm not gonna kick her um, unless she gets super duper aggressive. But this was such an easy process um, because I had her to help me. So you'll see as we go throughout the video that, that she teaches me what to do and then I go ahead and I do it, which I love about my friend. You are doing so good. You are doing so good. I know, huh? This is the way to your baby. Good job, Mom. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, the first day of milking, we went in and we got Mom into the stand when we brought baby over. And I think that was one of the most hardest parts was getting baby and mom together and having them come together because the baby just wanted to run away. And anyway, we had to wrangle them up because mom was so worried about baby. And so she kept fighting me and pulling me away. So that was another thing that I didn't think of when we were training. Anyway, we got baby and mom to the stanchion and mom was in there and I was holding baby and my friend was just teaching me what to do. You're, you're creating a language between you guys and and what is she saying? So if, if she kicks and then you kick, you're like, oh, you can outkick who or out. Yeah. And then while you're not looking, she's like, ha, oh, I got the milk in. Yeah. And it's just a dynamic you don't want. Yeah. But we're not panicking. Our energy's not going up. Right. We're like, huh. I just she's like slipping. remember the energy that you're talking about. You know, it's like, yeah. so, it's, it's so true about everything. Yeah, so if we, if she went to split, and our energy went up. That's what predators do. Like, yeah. They're down, get her. Yeah. How does she know the difference? Right. So I'm gonna try to wash the gobs of poop off. Okay. Put her now on. I'm just gonna see what happens. Mama. So look, see her leg is up. Uh-huh. You see how she can't actually get me because I'm because you're so far up. Yeah. But I, I'm wiggling my fingers to make sure that she knows I'm still here. Yeah. What you think you're saying is not what you're saying. She put her leg down, I move my hand up. Okay. Does so when she's down, yeah, so when she's down, then you're... So hold still. That's how you get me to go away. Okay. Hey, good job. Because sometimes yeah. I pull my cow out and her teats look like poopsicles. They're just like <laughs> chocolate to <laughs> poopsicles. Um, on a first time cow, I often just milk them onto the ground. Yeah, that's what I was like. I do that with the goats. Yeah. When I was first training them and just get them. So you want to come in super high. Good job, this Mama. one hurts her. 
So this one is a little bit full. It's starting to hurt her. Is that why she kicks? Yeah, she's kicking more with this one than the other one. And it's not coming out as easily. So the two in there is probably smaller. She didn't kick that time, so I'm just going to back away. Okay. But that's the one you want to watch. Like, ooh, that might be missed. I just okay. Okay, she held still. I have to quit. So it's very mindful because people go into autopilot. They're like, oh, it's working. No, you know, you, you gotta, when you gotta stop. quit. Okay, so I'm gonna switch it. Oh gosh. Now the scary part. <laughs> so just, you know, be calm and, right. and stay up by the knee yeah. rather than. And you'll figure out pretty quick um, where you should keep your body. <laughs> She'll show you. And just go in next to her knee. So if you feel her leg, can you feel her knee up there? Higher. That's the heel. There it is. It's very close to your hand. That's a knee. Really? Mm -hmm. So cows and horses walk on their toes. So that's what comes up first. Okay. And that part doesn't hurt. The hook. The hook <laughs> okay, she didn't kick her half the stuff. There you go. So I would just milk when she was being naughty, and then I would stop when she was being good. Yep, you're getting it right. So that, I mean, the kicking is stuck in a way, and you're on the right track. Good job, Mama. Yeah. She really is a good-natured girl. So that's just how the process went. And so in order, so when she is giving me good behavior on the stand, I will just stop and train her, hey, I'm not gonna milk you when you're being good. So that's kind of the behavior that we're going for. This is really good for day one. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Don't let that deter you, just go, go milk. Like, yep, that doesn't stop me. Holding still stops me, holding still and being calm. All right, now stop. She's holding still, her head is straight, she didn't kick. Like at the moment, we've got the full package. So this is good. Oh my gosh. Chicken! Ranching chicken. Good job, Mama. That was like five or six. Nice. Yeah, she's gonna be a super good little milker. She's very calm. That's so good. So did you just do seven clean squirts with a, yeah, a well-behaved cow? So good. Great job. Quick milker. Yeah. That's the perfect opportunity. So milk, 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 milk with a little bit more vigor. Oh no, now you have to milk with the top. So yeah, when they're naughty, you can just <laughs> So if you get a super confident cow, they won't poop. They'll eat. And they'll and they'll look forward to milking time like their happy meditation time. That's what you want. You want happy cat. Like she's yawning right now. This is that means her adrenaline's coming down. She's accepting this. She's understanding this. And now she's starting to eat. Like these are all super good signs. She wants to climb into stanchion with Mama. <laughs> So once once a cow learns to pull when they're leading, ugh, it's annoying. well, it's it's hard to um, get them out of the habit without the chain, without something um, that helps you because you're not size and weight. You're not going to compete. Right. One of the problems we have had with her is um, she kept pulling me away because she didn't want to take baby to the stanchion and she just wanted to be off in the field with baby. So that was probably the hardest part of training her was she didn't want to come with me. She's like, yeah, yeah, whatever, milk stanchion. So that was the hardest part. I had to get her a new halter so that it was an actual cow halter. I know some of you have said, get that horse halter off her. Yes. Sorry, that was the only thing I could find around and um, I finally ordered a cow halter. But it's a special halter where um, it's got the chain and it tightens up and so she knows not to pull because it's uncomfortable for her. 
And so I got that and we haven't had any problems since then. She'll pull and then she'll, she'll just lead nicely. So I don't have to pull or yank or tug or hurt her with it. Like she'll just, she'll just come. So that was something that was a big game changer that helped me a lot um, with wrangling her. Cause I was out there, you guys, if you look at this clip, these time lapses, I was out there for like 20 minutes trying to get her and she was pulling me everywhere. And I'm just like, this isn't worth it. This isn't worth it. I'm gonna give up. And then my friend suggested that halter. And so we got it on her. And ever since then, it's been just like a piece of cake. Cake is yummy. Cake is yummy. A chain is a little bit of an equalizer. And then after you use it for a while, you can go back to the softer halters if you want. hard by myself, but I did it. Okay. I separated them into a new pin tonight to get her on the stanchion. It was a little hard. She like threw me for a loop and was pulling and all that fun stuff, which she's never really done to me before. But we got her in and we're good. She's eating her treats. I'm actually milking pretty good. Right now I'm just milking into the ground. This is their, this is her knee. So I just kind of pet it and then we'll go out to the udder and then we just milk her out. You know, super dark and late, but this is real life people. She's doing awesome. So yeah, here we go. I have a milk cow, you guys. So cool. I'm gonna get back to this. So, here's another successful night. Almost! Just gotta wash everything off. So, when cows get nervous, this is the first time that she's been, no, the second time she's been milk, they poop and they pee a lot, so we're just... Hold on, I need it on a little bit longer. Uh... Hey, getting my water. So anyway. Life, here you go. Hey friends. Um. The rains are coming, but this is the second day that I am milk training with the cow. So I'm about to go milk her and she's doing really good. It's just the hardest part about this whole thing is getting the calf with mom and getting the calf to follow mom. So I usually need like two people. Um, that's what we have going on so far. <laughs> but now I'm gonna go out, I have my bucket of treats and we're just gonna milk out onto the ground because right now we're just trying to create that relationship and that trust and getting her not to kick me and getting her to get up into that stanchion um, just like we've been training her all this time. So she did really good. It was dark last night, I went out and did it. Um, she didn't kick, like, she was really good. So yeah, right now she's in the corner of the field with cookies and cream and they're just hanging out. The wrangling 
like has been the hardest part for me because I was like being like dragged around the field with her and it just wasn't worth it. So that's the hardest part for me is wrangling and putting the baby in so she can see the baby. So she doesn't like freak out. And it's like, where's my baby? Where's my baby? So anyway, let's go. So the chickens are here and she found a nice little corner in the back right there just chilling she's like nope I'm good buddy come on buddy buddy come on come go for a walk <laughs> oh little stinker I gotta go get her. the sprinkles coming. But they're doing good. I'm finding that if she can see the baby, she's totally at ease. She's better. this time though. What do you think? Is it worth it? You need actual equipment. Hi mama. She's fine mama. Hi mama. Good girl. <laughs> oh, ready to milk? <laughs> Are you ready to milk? I'm ready to milk. He's better at cow milking than I am. I. Oh. That cow milk last night was delicious. <laughs> it's worth the trouble. <laughs> uh, was it? <laughs> Wasn't a lot of trouble. Just get your gloves. Oh, yeah, I need the gloves. Ready? 
Rachel won't admit it, but she's doing really, really good with this cow. She's a little stressed out, but she's doing phenomenal. Chicken catcher is extraordinary. How many did you caught today? We caught seven. Well, at least I've caught seven. Caught seven today? She's so back. Dad owes me two bucks and hmm. cents. Two bucks? Yeah. Wait, they're a quarter? Quarter of two. Yeah. Got my gloves. For cow wrangling. Who knew it was a thing? When Dad started this. Uh, no catching chickens right now. So we're trying to have a calm yeah. environment for the cows. Okay. Thank you for catching chickens, but can we take a break from it? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Give us a holler. They're going to be at the pond. All right. Got my stuff. Got my stuff. So we were milking on the ground, but now we're going to try and catch some, so see how she does. Seriously? How'd she get in there? Oh, that's Jack. Ha! He's so big. I thought that was Patty. Oh my gosh. He doesn't even have a halter on him yet. I love these headbands, by the way. Whispering Willow recommended them. But they keep all your hair out of the way. It's the best. Aaron's feeding. I'm trying to sh shut up the sheep. I know. They're kind of loud. It's just so she's got to dig for it. Yeah. Tractor. Okay. Okay. <coughs> it's a fun part. The fun part. Baby, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think it got something in it, so let's go to the dogs. Dogs. Another day. <laughs> day three. I feel like it's been longer than that. Of actually getting milk from her? Well, of actually getting milk, yeah. But it's been like. And it is delicious. So we are determined. <laughs> the it's wrangling. Getting... The wrangling it's, is the hardest part. It's the only part that's not getting really better. So I thought if I wore the most colorful shirt on the planet, that might help. <laughs> That's probably really bad cow psychology. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, watch out for that guy. I'm gonna hypnotize her with my tad eye. Oh. Zoom, come. She's looking over here. She knows we have treats. I know. Come on, Patty. 
Patty. Do I want them? Do I want them? Like, Do I want right them there. to tug on me? She's mm -hmm. fine once we're in milking. It's just like she's so worried about that baby and the baby following her that she's just like, eh, eh, eh. Nope. I don't want it. I don't know. So we'll see. Okay. Real talk. Rachel's going to get that cow. Um, we are not scared. We are aware of what's going on. We're not pushing any limits. We know this cow has horns and we know it's got motherly instincts because there's a new baby calf involved. So we are being very safe and cautious and at the same time determined because this is something that we really want. Um, we have somebody we're speaking to who is an animal psychologist who's given us tips and tricks on the way. And lots of people like the Vaughn family farm, uh, the Vaughns have been helping us out a lot, giving us some tips and anybody we ever mention, we put those links below. So just go follow those people. They're good people. Um, and of course we've been watching a bunch of Justin Rhodes and even Justin Rhodes has problems with his cow. So we know that this is not something that always goes smooth every day. We're having some hiccups, um, but we're getting better as we go. Maybe Patty's just shy that we're putting her on social media. I don't know. But she'll pull and then she'll look at her calf, make sure she's following along. And right now, this is about as good as it gets, folks. Oh, maybe you'll see a tug here. Rachel is beautiful and tough. I just want to point that out. <laughs> Here we go. Round two. For some reason, she has trouble making this loop. But once she gets kind of within the realm... Oh, Cece's taking a pee. I don't know if you can see that, but... There you go. There you go. Come on, girl. There we go. There we go. She's right there. Cookies. Come here. Good mama. Right, I'm going to put this. You lock her in? Yep. You got to pull her forward a little bit. Come on. Go forward. There. Good girl. That is a T-post. Hey. Hey, good girl, Patty. Good girl. She's so good. She's good. Yeah. Such a good mama. Such a good mama. I was like, not gonna let go of that rope. Yeah. Like, not today. Well, luckily she hasn't given you a hoof. <laughs> so. I know. I was like thinking about it. I was thinking she might today. Does that mean I'm a cowgirl? Yep. I grab my grain. I grab my washing supplies. And then we head out. And we feed all we feed all the hay animals on the way. Good job, girl. I'm a helper. You wanna grab the bowl? Yeah. Let's go. And then we got our stanchion set up. And he's got our milking stuff.
And then there's Patty just chilling. And then we get her onto the stand. Bowl. Okay. Right. Just let you melt into, and then when it fills up, put it into the little container. This little wine cooler. Ready? I think the big question is, is this worth it? Rachel, is this worth training your cow? <laughs> Her running you all around the field, um, your hands hurting. At first I would tell you, no, it's not worth it. After working with her and working with her and working with her, I would say it's worth it. Like it's worth all the pain, all the training to get to where we are now. I wanted to milk cow. I want to make butter. I want to use the cream. I want to make cheese. And so that's my goal. And having that relationship with my cow so she can give me the milk to get to that goal um, is just what I desire. So working with her and bringing her to this point and having that relationship with the cow, as silly as that sounds, has been worth it. Now we're getting milk and so it's awesome because it's something that we don't have to buy at the store. It has all the vitamins and all the nutrients that are still intact that don't get filtered or homogenized or pasteurized out of there. And so raw milk is actually really good um, for your body and it's healthy. And so I will take that any day. So one thing I want to add to this video, I don't need to go. So when we first started, I remember that first day, it just seemed so daunting. I remember thinking, do we want to do this? Like, is it worth it? We can get a gallon of milk. We can get gallons of milk at Costco. It's not a big deal. We can even get raw milk relatively cheap if we wanted to pay a little bit more, but is it worth the cost and the time and the hand pain and, and you know, the training and the stress? And now it's just totally our routine. So any farm animal you're going to get, Sorry, I'm milking and talking at the same time. <laughs> you just have to do it, dedicate yourself, like put a little bit of hustle into it, and then it becomes a routine and you get to look back at that first day and it, you know, now it's just a normal thing. It's just you, you've, you've gained a skill, you get attacked by flies, 
We have milk in our refrigerator every single day. Fresh milk, and it really is a blessing. We are trying to be able to grow and raise all of our own food, humanely and organically. And uh, this brings us one step closer to reaching that goal. And we we're grateful for it. It's not for everybody. It's not the easiest thing on the planet, um, but anything worthwhile is never easy. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Good quick reflexes. Got it. Got it. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks for watching our little journey. Don't forget to like subscribe, click that notification bell, and we'll see you guys in the next video.